one of the reasons people love a J-frame or smaller handgun like this is it's easy to conceal. I know a lot of dudes that carry a gun like this in the coat pocket, especially in winter time, it's very easy. You're out walking the dog or something, you got sweats on, you got nowhere to carry. We're gonna talk a little bit about deploying a weapon like this from the inside of a pocket. This is not something that you should be screwing around with. This is something that is extremely dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. You can start clothing on fire. Uh, you definitely have to have a, an acute understanding of muzzle control. I've got this sucker loaded up with Supervel ammo. Uh, this is not some target load, this is Supervel's 90 grain. We're gonna look at what this looks like. So I'm in the pocket, I'm actually in my soft, soft-sided holster. So I'm not carrying this thing loosely, I'm still inside a soft holster, right? So from this position, it'd be pretty easy for me to engage. I could engage a target out to some distance. I don't think I'd have a problem just point shooting, and I could also engage in close if need be from a retention standpoint. This is also a scenario where I have total, I am totally covert. Nobody knows that I actually have this gun inside of my pocket until I either decide to draw it or fire it. So here's what something like that might look like. You guys ready? Ready. And from that position, you see what happens to your clothing, to the bad guy. So right here, from that position, we got a good impact. And this is why I'm telling you, you gotta be careful. One of the main reasons that besides blowing your holster apart that you need to pay attention to what you're doing, uh, you might have a finger in front of that. In any type of a barrel obstruction, it cause a gun to actually explode, especially when you're dealing with carry ammo. This guy's smoked out now. I'm not gonna even play around with that. So we're gonna show you now again what kind of damage you're talking about with clothing, right? No joke, no joke indeed. One thing else I wanted to point out here, this blast here, that's just from the concussion coming out of the sides of the uh, cylinder, where the cylinder and forcing cone meet. You always hear people tell you, don't have your fingers around the uh, edge of the, the barrel, or the edge of the cylinder, rather. Well, this is why. Where that cylinder and forcing cone meet on a revolver, there's a lot of hot escaping gas right here. This is not leather, but this is pretty durable material and it just blew it to smithereens just with that concussion. Again, what we're talking about is understanding your body index and your ability to fire from inside a clothing. We'll try this again now. With We're gonna look at that same scenario, this time with a semi-auto. This is a big drawback for a semi-auto, having to shoot inside of clothing or something like that. This reciprocation of the slide, it can not only cause the gun not to operate, but it can take it out of battery and take the gun out of the fight completely. So we got the PPS here. I got this loaded up with a 147 grain uh, defensive load. This is a Winchester Ranger, actually, that I've got in there. And uh, we're gonna shoot from inside the pocket. I'll have to use my left pocket, so I'm gonna shoot with my left hand instead of my right because I blew the right pocket apart here. It's a new kind of uh, sport coat here. Check this out. <laughs> so I found that to be pretty interesting. That gun, I'm a, I'm a, I wanna see if your camera picked it up where that slide was moving, if it was completely inside of the jacket each time it reciprocated, or if it was happening to be popping out. It felt like it was all inside. So between that heavy defensive round and the slide in this Walter, and the, the, the recoil spring rather, uh, it kept the gun in battery. We ran through the whole magazine. That was 147 grain, 
Uh, that was a duty round from Winchester. I believe that was their Ranger uh, STX uh, round. So we were able to put those rounds into the target, just indexing with our body. We had a shoot out of the pocket. That was a, a, an expedient type of a scenario where, where the gun was in a, a coat pocket and we had to deal with this uh, situation in front of us. All right, we're gonna look at this now with a regular hoodie on. This is an expedient type of carry and deployment. I've uh, got that uh, J-frame loaded up with the smoking hot Super Bell 90 grainers. This stuff's no joke. I'm not shooting some BS target ammo. Uh, what I wanna make sure you guys understand is I am totally aware of where the muzzle is doing this. You need to be so freaking careful and do not do this unless you've had training. I can't say that enough. So if, does this not look like a normal body position that somebody could be in? Uh, with a hoodie on? I think so, but what am I hiding here, right? That said, what does that look like? From this type of a scenario, any type of body posture where you would have to shoot up close and personal. So, let's see what that looks like. Tell you what, the Supervel is no joke. We were able to put all five hits on target. I've destroyed a pretty decent shirt. More importantly, we're building, we're building a deeper understanding of how we can deploy the weapons that we carry every day. And that's no joke. That was quick, it was fast, it was accurate, and downright deadly. There's two to three hits right through the spine of the subject. Is this something you want to have to do? No. Talk to anybody that's done undercover work. Talk to anybody that's done any type of uh, job where they are not able to carry openly. And depending on the clothing that you have, this was a much faster way to access and fire a gun than for me to actually have to come out of a holster. That's part of the thing we need to think about. What is the most expedient way to deploy the weapon? For me to have to clear a garment, access the weapon, and engage versus put my hand on the trigger and engage. Lots to think about. Be careful, get training. This is Mickey with CarryTrainer.com. Thank you, Superbell, for this amazing ammunition. It is super accurate, super awesome, and super powerful in a little gun like that. Be well. <laughs> So I want you to see this. I am going to very carefully. <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing to go in my pocket without pointing at the zipper. See how long that was. Ready? Uh-oh. Battery dead?